this game, uh, it, it's got avatars of every character in the in both games available for purchase for forty nine cents each. They're really it's a real good deal. Um, cool. <laughs> And it tells you all the characters, and if you count them, uh, the answer may surprise you. Um, are we live? I believe we are live. I don't hear voices. There we go. Wow, let's speak. All right, now. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> no, 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 don't push that. You're gonna or. No, keep going, keep going. Push one to the, that one to the side. That bottom one, push it up. That one on to the this right. One up. Yeah. Move that one up. Push that one in. I don't know if I'll have to Shit. <laughs> I've done this. this is. Okay. Um. I say go all the way around and push that box down. This box? No. This box. No. The one in the yellow. Oh. Push it all the way down to the bottom. <clears throat> yeah, we're done. I don't know. Okay. So then okay, I can do this. I just don't know if we'll have to screw this. Oh, 
I fuck, I fucked that up. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, but if I were to hypothetically go back one, I would be able to go there. Or, okay, I would be up there. I would be able to go around the box, push that one in. No, I wouldn't be able to do it. one back down here. I keep going around. I push this one. No, I can't do that. I go around, push this one down. So that one's on the bottom. I push this one over. And then I push this one So the problem is, is that we're only able to push boxes in from, oh, hold on. The problem is, nothing can be pushed into this spot, so we need to push a box either here or... No, it's gonna be into here and then up, so it's out of the way. Um, but, and so I think, I think we're on the right track there with what we've been doing so far. So let's push that one up. The one on the far left, push it up. So we can... Push that, that one that way. Down. And push it one more down. Yeah. What I told it to. <laughs> All the crates. Now we can climb over the crates over by the fence and get to the coffin. Open the coffin. What's inside? Mummy! Uh, that was a weird reaction. It's a a dead guy! <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, really? Whatever. Just open it. <laughs> okay, okay. A small key and... A gun. Uh-oh. A gun.
gun? But it's only got one shot in it. Bang! Oh, there we go. I solved the problem. Yeah, a revolver. It looks pretty old. Hey, how'd you get up here? I wonder if this is a replica. Well, let's shoot somebody. Tessa points a gun at this him. This thing is... Are these real bullets? Oh, if this is real... Oh. You're not gonna take it? Of course not. All something like this is gonna do is cause more trouble. It's a powerful weapon that gives one person a huge advantage. Something like that would be way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough danger already. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe Zero put this gun here, hoping that something like that might happen. In other words, maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let Zero control me. Fuck. Me neither. Okay, oh, we got that figured out. You aren't gonna leave puzzles, that key in there, are you? So. But, and it's right next to a key, so it seems like this is our prize. Of course not. We'll take that with us. We'll take the key. The rusty key. Oh, boy. The rusty key. Okay, so it probably isn't anything more than just the key out of here. Yay! Looks like it's open, Jumpy. I see. You should open this door. Wait, no, you're not jumpy. I'm jumpy. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Fucking move that to me. Yes, it's open. You found it. Yeah. You're not paying. Long hallway, huh? Let's check it out. We've seen this elevator before. We got off the one on the left just a little while ago. Then we went through the number six door, and that took us to the engine room. Yes, and after that we passed through the cargo room. Yep, that's exactly the stuff that we just went through. And now we're back here. In other words, we made a loop. We're back where we started. Hmm. We needed a card to get to this point. I don't see a card reader here. Perhaps we aren't able to activate it from this location. Why don't you just try pushing the button? Yeah. Alright, so... It works! Basically, we just made a big loop for no reason, then. I think so! That's not Good! True. Now we it's can go back done. if we need to. <laughs> for no reason. Now we can go back! What do we do? Should we return to Sea Deck? No, this hallway keeps going. Even if oh, we do end more. up going back... I think we should see what's down there first. I agree. Let's go. Looks like it ends here. Only one door. There isn't anything else. It's the only way to go. All right. Let's open it. And inside we find... Huh. The nine door. Oh, the nine door. <laughs> Congratulations. <sighs> of course it wouldn't be that easy. Vacant. Huh. We finally found it. Ch jumpy Huh? Huh? Look! Behind you! What? A nine door. There's another one. <laughs> Why? It's nine, no matter how you look at it. The red is there too. So this is a real one? Why? It, why the hell are there two doors? I'll just do the math. I you can't, did. Yeah, you can't do you can't go you can't have nine people go through one door if their requirement's three to five people. What if you have two doors? No matter how you slice it, you should easily be able to get nine people through two doors with a minimum of three, maximum of five. I mean, if every <laughs> There are always two doors. Which they aren't. I mean, if you think about it, 
Zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. He said, seek a door with a nine on it. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Of course, we just assumed that there was only one. After all, why would there be more than one? Oh, man. <sighs> he didn't say the line, though. We fell for it. There are two doors. That means that all nine people who had met at the central staircase could escape. No one would be left behind. You know what's a great uh, piece of media? What? Saw 3. <laughs> now hear me out. Saw 3 has the same sort of concept here. I right? think I remember that. Do you, yeah. do you remember it? Okay, so let me explain it for those that are out of the loop, which is nobody. Um, uh, so basically, they have it's Saw. So you, you get the concept of Saw. They, 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 they go through, through the same sort of deal that they're doing, going through here. Killing game, and whoever gets out gets to live. Whatever. All the games in Saw 3 are designed for everybody to get through it alive. And at the end, it's revealed... Well, that's revealed at the end, basically, because they had... Uh, I don't remember how many people they started with, but they needed to, do, to uh, donate about, like... It was, about it was like two pints of blood. Whatever. Yeah. What it's it's like normally not that bad, but like when you only have one person to, uh, donating. Two. No, two there was a, there was only one person left. At the end. No, there was two. There was two people. Two people. Okay. Yeah. Well, still. And they both saw their hands. Were not. Yeah. yeah. They 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 passed out from the blood loss because if you if you had the the correct amount of people, then it would have only been like very minor. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I still think Saw Three is a really underrated Saw movie. It's not very, it's not. That there's two exits. Yep. And you didn't even need to look at it to know that. Now it makes sense why the bracelets are numbers. One through nine. Divided into teams of four and five people. The digital root of both teams ends up being nine. Take one, two, seven, eight, and three, four, five, six, nine, for example. The digital root for both teams would be nine. Or two, three, four, nine, and one, five, six, seven, eight. Literally, the digital root is still numbers nine. that combine to make nine, you can just put them together. There are a bunch of combinations that work, and they all end up the same way. If one team has the digital root of nine, so would the other one. What does that mean? The answer is simple. From the very beginning, the nonary game was designed to save all nine people. That's how it was meant to be. Zero didn't lie. He never said there'd be only one nine door. But anyone who'd found themselves in the game would have assumed that was the case. Fights would have broken out. One team would likely betray or deceive the other. Someone might be hurt. Someone might get killed. But eventually, they'd reach this very same room and realize how pointless all their infighting was. <laughs> there were two doors. There was no need to kill each other. Uh, yeah. Mac and cheese. This game was designed for that purpose. This notary game. We were all arguing and fighting over doors at the beginning. But if there had been one slip up, one tiny mistake that led to more, everything could have been so much worse now. Oh man, can you imagine? So, what are we going to do, Junpei? Huh? Oh, right. Hey, keep it together, man. <clears throat> yeah, we should go get the others. I mean, there's no way to make nine with just us here, right? Well, I guess Santa and June could leave, but not by themselves. Hmm. Santa? Oh! Oh, that's not good. What? Sorry. Jeez. So what do we do? What do you... We need to think about our next step. Uh... Our numbers are one, three, five, and six. That's a digital root of six. The four of us can't open the number nine door. The four? Wait, don't tell me. Yep. There's one combination that'll let three of us open the nine door. That's why I'm asking, what now? What now? No, we gotta go back. Capitalize W for some reason. Yep. I agree. We cannot leave June behind. Uh, are you sure? 
I I don't mind staying. Mm, the other people together wouldn't be able to combine to make a nine in any way. Yeah. It's okay. There's no way we'd leave you behind. Besides, I'd rather drown at the bottom of the ocean than escape with this sausage fest. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to go to Atlanta. Uh, are you sure you don't mean Atlantis? Huh? No, we're talking about Atlanta. This is this for a few trauma. I just, I just want to go to Atlanta. Oh. <laughs> this is for a few trauma where Atlanta was sunk to the bottom of the ocean. You know Atlanta's a real place, right? <laughs> I, no, 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 no. That was an episode. You guys. Well, they, I get it. Yeah, that, that's, that's the, the joke. That's the joke. Yeah, damn. Very well. Best we head back to Sea Deck then. We should be able to take the elevator we passed earlier. Perhaps Clover, Seven, and Lotus will have returned from door one. But even with all seven of us. Standing around here isn't going to accomplish anything, don't you agree? Let's find the other three first, and then search for another solution. Wait... I guess you're right. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Come to think of it... What is this room? We were so focused on the doors, we didn't even look around. Huh. It looks like it's set up for some kind of ceremony. But what kind? Huh. A, a coffin? What on earth is a coffin doing in a place like this? Hey, Junpei! The hell are you doing? Let's move! Right, okay. I'll be right there. What the? Who the fuck is in there? <laughs> I love this game so much. <laughs> I have bad news. What? We're Look, probably it's probably not gonna find out who it is by the time you have to leave. Fuck! Look, it's Seven and Lotus. Oh well, actually, if we rush through this, maybe. Clover is gone. Oh, what? Shit. Is she in the coffin? What do you mean, gone? When? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Ever. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. <sighs> there were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. She must have blocked it with something on the other side. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. It was empty. Clover wasn't there. There was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. We figured that much out. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? No, we haven't. Very well then. We'd best separate and look for Clove. We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Yeah. She's not here. No, she isn't. All right, just in case, we should go take a look in the shower room. Shower room? That's where her brother is. She might have gone to see him. Well, we might as well check, right? Let's go. Good. We can still get in. We should thank Seven later. No luck. Yeah, I don't think she's here. The Someone smell is horrible. Did, did someone just hose that down? Let's check the back, just to be sure. No, she's not here. Snake, just where did your sister go? Ugh, such a horrible way to go. The skull shattered, the left arms hideously twisted. Huh? Wait. Is Snake in the coffin? Bones. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. So, this is a very clever moment. Because they just glance right over it, no matter which door you go through, no matter how, how you divide it up. 
if you don't, whether or not you get the conversation in door uh, seven, I think is the one we went through with Clover, because it was Clover four plus five is nine. It was Clover and Lotus. Lotus. So yeah, it would be door seven. If we hadn't gone in door seven, we wouldn't have gotten, we wouldn't have been able to have that conversation with Clover and learned about that. Whether or not you get that conversation, the earlier scene where you find uh, uh, Snake's body, it still happens either way, and you get to see it talks about the bone. And so I was waiting for you to realize that you didn't notice. Which, which to be fair, is the same thing that happened to me, because I was playing through this a lot slower mm -hmm. than we are. But yeah, left arm. The accident hurt him really bad. The problem is... Of course. Of course. Why didn't I realize it earlier? And, and here's the thing. And I love this. Had we not gotten this scene, we would have very easily gotten a bad ending here. And I don't, I don't, I don't feel the, the need to uh, leave it up to uh, spoilers. Or leave it up to your imagination. So if you... I can't remember what the requirements are, but basically, as long as you don't do this exact sequence, or uh, I think there are a few others that end up in other endings, of course. Um, this is the most interesting ending that we're not going to see. Um, I think my ride's here. Quickly, finish that. I'll finish the thought. Uh, Clover accuses... Uh, she, she realizes that... Other people um, could have killed her brother. She doesn't put a, put together that uh, the bones, and she accuses June and Junpei because they're the only people that could uh, that uh, of they're they are they are a set they are a set of people that together could have killed uh, her brother, and so she kill she takes an axe from door one and uh, kills. Uh, both of us. So that's one of the bad ends. It's, oh. it's the most interesting that we're that we're not gonna see. So, um, jumpy. Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. <sighs> Junpei, June, where were you guys? Did did something happen? Clover is Clover is dead. Oh. I found her. In the first class bathroom. Why did this happen? <sighs> Clover. No way. Let's let's get out of here, June. Are you all right? Yes. I I think so. You should get some rest. Here, the bed. Can you sit? Yes. Who was the first to find the body? Me. Oh. He left the door open. No, that's not it. <clears throat> seven, seven would have gone through this direction anyway, no matter what you would have chosen. So this was our first choice is to go through uh, room five with, uh, or door five, I should say, door five with um, seven and, and snake. And remember how we told Clover in the second, in, in the door seven about snake's hearing, is that he, uh, she asked, if it, uh, asked, if it, asked us if he had said anything weird. That relates to something that's going to happen. Now. Why did you come to this room? To look for Clover. Why else? I found her body in the bathroom. 
Soon as I did, I ran outside. I got to the top of the stairs by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. Hey, guys! I found her, but it's bad! She's in the bathroom in the first class cabin! Come quick! Er... Then I went back to the bathroom. Ace, Santa, and Lotus showed up real soon after that. But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that, I, I mean, you know the rest, right? Seven, th there's one more thing I'm worried about. What? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Why did you do that? <sighs> come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. So we could come back to this room? Oh, you think I did it? Well, I don't know. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? For crying out loud. <sighs> Follow me. A closet? Yeah. This is the reason. This safe. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. I figured there might be something pretty important in it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door 5 again. So, I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? Yeah. Figured it wouldn't open. Huh? That's not Ellie, is it? Yeah. The car? Yeah, the car's right there. Oh. This is... Rust? If there's rust here, that means... Has someone opened the safe? Uh, huh? Hmm. Maybe there's another clue. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. Behind this door, the ninth man's body is behind there. Maybe I should have another look at it, just in case. Yeah. Oh, the hell. This, this smell is... Oh. Uh, wait, it's it's gone. This bracelet, it's gone. It was right next to the glasses. But why? Huh? Where'd Junpei go? Uh. Oh, there you are. Were you looking for something in the hallway? Yeah. Did you find something? Uh, no, nothing. What's up? Ah, uh, well, I wanted you to take a look at something. What is it? Clover. <sighs> what was it you wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. A real shame. She was stabbed once in the back. Probably by a knife or something. And I found this. What? I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. What? I'm opening it. Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. What is this? Some kind of secret code? Hmm, a code. Sinister hand. Well, I guess you know the answer. <laughs> yep, the fake hand. Sinister was a term used in heraldry that meant to the left of the bearer of a coat of arms. Uh-huh. Left hand. Hmm. The left hand. What does the left hand mean? Does the darkness of the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. Left and right. Left and right. Right and left. Yep. Truth is gone. Left hand has always been sinister? Yeah. Truth. Ew. Gone. It's bad that I'm left handed. It's a bad omen, yeah. Hmm. I explained a lot. Truth. <laughs> It's the, yeah. 
I'm not reading that out loud. Uh, truth gone, maybe just... I wish I could see the note in the background. Um... I think they're all, they all do the same switching thing. sentence around it? Gone hat. Well, that makes even less sense. Clearly, switching the words isn't going to help. Never did. Oh. Uh, okay, I guess I did all of them. How about reading them backwards? Gone and truth. Enog and dirt. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, those aren't even words. I don't... Wasn't a bad idea, though. What else could gone and truth mean? Yeah, sorry, voice is quiet. We're, we're focusing real hard. Truth, yeah. of course, means something that truth is of course correct. Means something that's fact. In other words, something Scott, that is right. Loud. Die. Whoever that fucker is keeps circling around. That's not Ellie, is it? No. Okay. Car we could then that safely loud. assume that gone means left. After all, after someone left, they were gone. Yep. But in this case, they clearly refer to their directional homonyms. Then truth equals right, and gone equals left. So, so right had left. Oh, it's a sequence. Left and right of the bracelet. These two things sticking out. So if I... It's so nice for me to like, have not played this in a year and a half because I've completely forgotten all this, all the minutia. Press them in the following order. Oh, fuck. Well, I. <laughs> Which one's the right one? Wait, did it just. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Okay, so it's not what I thought it was. Huh? Hey, what are those numbers? Hmm. I got them marked down somewhere, don't worry. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Too many left handed people here today. <laughs> One four three eight three four two one. The game's repeating this like, yes, please remember this. One four three eight three four two one. One four three eight three four two one. Huh. One to the right, four to the left. And oh. I wonder if you probably had to remember this and do it your uh, yourself in the DS version. Bingo. I knew it was for this. I can't Fuck yeah, so baby. Is that some then? sort of note? Let's see. Fact number one. The Nonary game was played once before, nine years ago. Hey, nine. Fact number two. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. <laughs> Fact number three. It, it was, was planned by the following four people. Cradle... Pharmaceutical, Pharmaceutical CEO. CEO. Ooh. Gentaro Hungo. Carol Pharmaceuticals Chief of sta Staff. Nagisi Nijisaki. Carol Pharmaceuticals R&D Supervisor. Daruaki Kuboto. Kuboto. Kubo okay, whatever. Kagashika Masashido. I must punish them. For the innocent lives they sacrificed. It's the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved. I now state the truth. Zero. Huh. Hiddenness is weird. I don't believe it's genetic. I believe it's just what you tended to use. Like, it's the one thing that I think it's odd. Like, it's so... You're, you're so more commonly... Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? Alright, um... with you. We're, yeah, we're, we're almost done. I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Why? 
There's something I want to be sure of. What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. <laughs> Wait, then you're saying? Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. I think it's more handedness is taught. Like it's it's not genetic. It's like the one thing that you that you can't really change. It's five o'clock. And that's I think that's why I, I don't know anything about it. Trust me, I could be wrong, but uh, I believe that more people are right handed simply because that's how it's taught. We don't have My a lot of time left. My brother is ambidextrous, so he just does whatever he feels necessary. Whatever he he doesn't prefer one way or the other. Yeah. Actually, uh, before we get started, I was hoping you could do something for me. Ace, Seven, and Lotus, could you please place your palms on the red? Mm hmm? Huh? Why? If we need to get to the shower room, why don't we just... No, we're not going inside. Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Please, just do it. Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. <sighs> Fine. What about you, Ace? Lotus? Very well. Sure. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. You don't actually need a hand. I knew it. Seven, eight, one, and another one. Make three. Hmm. <laughs> Sixteen. What do you need to make three? Yeah. Um... You'd need... Well, five would work. Huh? What was that about? How should I know? Thanks. I appreciate your cooperation. By the way, Ace, would you mind if I asked you something? What is it? Do you know who I am? What? What kind of question? Just answer it, please. Who am I? You're Junpei, of course. Who else would you be? Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Hmm? Actually, I'm Santa. <laughs> what? Wh what? <laughs> the clothes I'm wearing, I borrowed from Junpei. And the clothes he's wearing are mine. We had a little swap. That's ridiculous. Impossible. So, you're saying I'm not Santa? Of course you aren't. Why? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. One plus seven plus eight plus three equals 19. One plus nine would be 10. The digital route would be one. But the four of us just opened door three. You can't possibly be Santa. Your bracelet number isn't three. It's five, right? Huh? <sighs> You're exactly right. My bracelet number is five. Sorry, Ace. I tricked you. Of course I'm not really Santa. I'm Junpei. Who could possibly think I was? <laughs> it's obvious I'm not. Th to think I was? Ridiculous. But I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. <sighs> I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered. If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Most people wouldn't say something like that. The first thing that would come to anyone else's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. There'd only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. <sighs> Ace, you have prosopagnosia. Am I right? Prosopagnosia? What's that? No clue. Prosopagnosia is... They then explained that... Very well. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. Is that what this was about? 
You want to mock me for my disorder? Ha <laughs> ha. No, no, not Can't at all. Can't see set faces. I'm not making fun of you at all. In fact, I feel kind of bad for you. No, the reason I brought this up is that there's an excellent chance that the person who killed Snake has prosopagnosia. What do you mean? I'll just come right out with it. I think it was you, Ace. You killed him. That's ridiculous. What possible evidence do you... I have three pieces of evidence. The first. Think back to a few hours ago. You made us argue over the three doors here in the big hospital room. There was no way all seven people could go through them. Lotus suggested that we sacrifice one of us. <laughs> then you, Ace, said, I'll stay here. Why would you say something like that? It's pretty simple, really. You didn't want us to see the dead body in the shower room. <laughs> <sighs> you see? If Ace stayed behind, there were only two doors the rest of us could go through. Door seven and eight. There was no way we could get through door three, the shower room. You knew that, didn't you, Ace? That's why you volunteered to stay behind. Come on now, I think that's going a bit far. I can understand if you're jealous of my bravery, but... Please don't devalue my actions. I only wanted to save the rest of you. Surely you can understand my altruism. Altruism, huh. You already knew, didn't you? You knew that whichever doors we took, eventually we'd end up back in the big hospital room. What on earth are you saying? Of course I didn't know that. How could I have? Really? Yes, yes! <laughs> That's the thing. I've got two more pieces of evidence. Oh well, that's cool. I've still got two more pieces of evidence that say you're the killer. <laughs> the second is that, as I said earlier, you have prosopagnosia. Then you mean to imply that a person who can't distinguish human faces must be a bad person? No. Junpei, they call that prejudice. That's wrong, Junpei. <laughs> no, I am not that stupid. Then why? Well, before I explain, I suppose there's something I should tell you. The corpse in the shower room. It's not snakes. What? I didn't put it together right away, but there was something Clover told me. She said that Snake's left arm was prosthetic. He'd lost his real arm in an accident. But the body we saw in the shower room, let's call him Guy X. <laughs> Guy X's left arm was definitely <clears throat> flesh and blood. In other words, Guy X couldn't possibly have been Snake. Oh God, no. That's impossible. <laughs> Let's say, hypothetically, that the killer didn't have prosopagnosia. If that were the case, he would immediately realize that Guy X wasn't Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Even if the clothes were Guy the same as Snake's, X? their faces would be completely different. It would have been obvious they were different people. And yet, they still killed him. Why? Why would they kill a stranger who'd only just shown up? <sighs> On the other hand, if the killer did have prosopagnosia, it makes sense. They thought Guy X was Snake and killed him. Wait. Wait just a moment. Mm -mm. I'm not done yet. Let's say you're right, and I mistook Guy X for Snake. Even if I did, I would have had no motive to kill him. Why would I want to kill Snake? I can think of at least two motives. One. Snake knew about your past. If he ever revealed what he knew, that would have been really bad for you. You really didn't want that to happen. So to make sure Snake's mouth stayed shut, you killed him. <sighs> Two. Snake had a grudge against you. You knew that. Or at least you could have easily assumed he did. Even without exposing your identity, he was a threat to you. You never knew when you might be attacked. You couldn't ever let your guard down. Every moment was a moment he might try something. You didn't want that kind of danger hanging over you, so you... Hey, hold on a minute. What's the past that Ace wouldn't want us to know? Why did Snake have a grudge against him? Look at this. What's this piece of paper? The Nonary game was played once before nine years ago. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. 
It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO Gentaro Hongo. What is this? It's the message from Zero. It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break! That paper is a lie! Someone is trying to frame me! Me. You said me, right? <gasps> Got him. Wouldn't that mean you're admitting you're Hongul, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? Or am I mistaken? Very well. I admit that much. I am certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical, Gentaro Hongo. So what if I am? I don't know anything about this nonary game yeah, that supposedly mad. took place nine years ago. Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. Bullshit! Someone is trying to set me up, you see? First of all, first of all. <laughs> first, we had to calm down. Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. Think that over, all right? I did. How could I have killed Snake all by myself? Not Snake. It was Guy X. I don't care who it was. I don't give a fuck. You said the killer put this other man into door three, right? Yeah, maybe. Then I couldn't have possibly done that alone. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. Nope. You could have. <gasps> huh? Huh? What? What? Huh? Actually, Ace, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Remember when you were injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? Yeah, back then, I took this. No! You couldn't have! Got him! I got you, Ace. Your right hand there tells me all I needed to know. You want to tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? <clears throat> It's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? <laughs> Remember, Ace wanted to go in door number five. Why do you think that is? <laughs> Ace, Guy X, and the ninth man's bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. That's how you killed Guy X all by yourself, Ace. All you needed was the number nine bracelet in your chest pocket. <sighs> If you want to play innocent, that's fine by me. Go ahead, tell me. I don't have the bracelet, if that's what you want to do. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. <laughs> I have to fucking stand up for this one. <laughs> He's about to pull what's called a pro gamer move. <laughs> Hit. Well done, Junpei. As you so you correctly done? deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. But I also have this. <laughs> I retrieved it while we were searching for the missing hardware for the red. I left the room I was supposed to search and headed to the first class cabin of B deck. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. What? <laughs> he says my french fries are bullshit. They're delicious. I put them in tempura sauce instead. What? <laughs> nine is a potent ally in the nonary game. Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital root. As you can see, nine is a very useful number here. With it, one can go anywhere, with anyone. It is, I suppose you could say, a game changer. So I made for the first class cabin to obtain it. In mere moments, I successfully acquired the number nine bracelet. There was also an unexpected bonus, the knife the ninth man had used. I quickly pocketed both of them and left. I made my way back to where I was expected to be. That's when I ran into Snake. Well, this guy X, actually. I spotted him ahead of me. He was heading for the large hospital room and hadn't noticed me. 
The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out, Snake. He turned around. He said nothing. His mouth simply hung half open. He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. Perhaps he had been drugged. It wasn't important. I tend to gloss over little things like that. I was certain that man was Snake. I knew Snake had taken part in the Nonary game nine years ago. Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. But why then hadn't Snake said anything to me later? Surely he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the Nonary game. But not once did he attempt to confront me. Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Or perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me? Regardless, he was a threat, and it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. I had to get rid of him before he took action. With quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. I held the number nine bracelet over the red. I waved my own bracelet in front of the red and then grabbed Snake's arm and shoved his hand against the scanner panel. The door opened. I threw the man through it. <laughs> Nine seconds later, the door shut. 81 seconds passed. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room when the 1 a.m. bell rang. <sighs> Ace, did you kill Clover? Yes. Why? Why did you kill her? She was Snake's sister. It was possible I had told her something dangerous. <sighs> Additionally, she had gone through door one. She had gone through door one? It seemed likely she might have found it. Found what? Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one, too. We didn't see anything suspicious. Yes. I thought as much after I heard your report at the central stairs. I doubt the two of you could find it. Hmm? Huh? But perhaps Clover was different. Perhaps she had found it. I was, therefore, desperate to find her. And at last I did, in the first-class cabin. I spoke very calmly. Did you, did you see, see it? it? See what? Don't act as if you don't understand. You were in the captain's quarters, weren't you? Uh-huh. What are you, what are you talking, talking about? Hmm. Very well. Uh... By the way, what are you doing here, Clover? What? Uh, nothing. There's blood on your shoes. It looks fresh. <laughs> Did you go take a look at the ninth man's corpse? Mm -hmm. I see. Your silence suggests that you noticed. You saw something, didn't you? You saw that his bracelet was gone. No! You aren't going anywhere. This is, uh, You're not the angle here. I'd like for this to be. No! <laughs> Don't, Don't you run, run little girl. girl. That was how I killed Clover. Excellent. Now we're gonna kill you. You son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, Santa, go get the gun. <gasps> <gasps> I admit it. I've lost. I have lost. Completely and utterly. Don't misunderstand, Junpei. I didn't lose to you. I lost to Zero. Not you. But wait. 
I'm zero. I'm rather disgusted with myself for falling into such a simple trap. I looked the fool. And it was a trap. Make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by Zero. The man I killed in the shower room? If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who he was. But he was wearing Snake's clothes. And that was no coincidence. He had also been injected with something that reduced his cognition and prevented him from identifying himself or resisting me. And we can't forget the components that were removed from the red before we arrived. I have no doubt that Zero planned all of this. Zero made sure I would kill that man. <sighs> it follows, of course, that Zero knew everything I would do. That I would try to take the number nine bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. For the innocent lives they sacrificed, this is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved, I now state the truth. Zero. I think Zero is... one of us. Huh? Zero is... one of us? No. Wait. There's one more person. Snake. The man who died in the shower room isn't Snake. That means he's almost certainly still alive. Maybe Snake is Zero. Maybe he made Guy X wear his clothes so that we'd all think he was dead. Hmm. Where's Snake now? What if he's off? Oh, he must have been lying to us about everything else. Is he... watching us? Well, I believe I've finished with my confession. Why don't we get moving? What the hell is this shit? You aren't going anywhere, you son of a bitch! We're gonna leave your ass here to rot! Why? Because I killed Clover? That's ridiculous. Why are you so upset that I killed the little bitch? She was nothing to you. A stranger you only met a few hours ago. Am I wrong? You bastard! Blindsiding me with a punch, huh? <laughs> I like the idea that it just he just sits there and takes it like he just yeah. I'm too sad to react. I confess I rather like a tough woman Well, maybe you'd like another one then Uh, Before that let me give you one of my own Huh? huh? Pro gamer move if any of you so much as blink I won't hesitate to pull this trigger I've already killed two, no, three people. Don't think I'm not ready to make it four. Three people? Let me take this opportunity to illuminate you. Puts a bowl the in person head. who yeah, killed three. the ninth man was me. <laughs> I love this game so much. Uh, how much longer? Although I it suppose be. To be we're almost accurate, there. I encouraged him to get himself killed. <sighs> While we were examining the main staircase, he came to me and told me his name. I recognized it at once, so I gave him a little push. Just a little white lie. It seems, it seems the settings for the, for the dead, dead were altered. Now it only it requires, requires a single person, person to deactivate the detonator in the bracelet. Investigate what's beyond door five. We'll meet again later. And with that... Okay. Have a Have good, a good one, one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then. Why is it stopping? God damn it! You, you lied! Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Tell me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! Oh. It was him! He killed me! He just said his name! It was him! Ah! I had four reasons for killing him. 
Wow, four? As I said before, in the nonary game, the number nine bracelet is of utmost importance. If I had allowed him to keep such a useful tool, he, or it, would have become a threat to me. As such, I decided that he should be eliminated early on. I wanted the number nine bracelet. If I could manage to obtain it, I would be able to manipulate the game as I saw fit. I would be unable to acquire the bracelet unless its owner was dead. That's the second reason. Even setting aside his number, he would have been nothing but trouble for me. He was aware of my past. He knew what happened here nine years ago. It was important that I eliminate him before he was able to disseminate this information. Lastly, I wished to conduct a simple test. A test to see if this nonary game was serious or a poor attempt at a joke. I needed to be quite sure. As such, I encouraged him to act against the rules so that I might observe the outcome. I don't get your third motive. What the hell happened nine years ago? Didn't I say? The nonary game was played. I planned it out, and I conducted its execution. Why? What on earth was it supposed to do? I don't really think I have any obligation to tell you that. Hey, what's with this gun? Where did he get this? Why don't you tell her, Santa? On the other side of door six, we found the gun in the coffin in the cargo room, right? The bastard must have grabbed it when we weren't looking. Indeed, I did. That was a pretty serious mistake, you know. Just saying you intended to leave it behind. Well, there isn't much time left. I'll be off then. Well, where are you going? Do I really need to explain? I had assumed it would be obvious. I have the number nine bracelet. And now I have Lotus. Wasn't there a door with a nine on it in the room that looked like a church? That's where you're going, isn't it? And how do you know that? Santa told me about it while we were looking for Clover. I see. Well, you are correct. That is my destination. But now I must say goodbye to all of you. Ah, and please, don't forget my warning. Move and I'll pull the trigger. I don't need her alive to open the door, you know. Shit! He's getting away! But we can't risk it. Now, Lotus. Open the door for me, if you would. <laughs> Goodbye. Damn it! Uh... Oh, of course. Hey, June, what happened? Are you all right? Jesus, you're burning up. Your fever's back. Are you okay? I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. You should be worrying about Lotus. But... Chumpy, don't worry about me. I just need a little rest. I'll be fine. Don't you remember? I just needed to rest a little bit last time. So please, please save Lotus. Think about what Ace has already done, Junpei. When he's got what he needs from Lotus, you really think he's just gonna let her walk away? Damn it. You guys go on ahead. Soon as June starts feeling better, we'll follow you. Go! Uh. Huh. All right. Come on, Seven. We're going after Ace. Hell yeah! Santa, you take good care of June. I'm trusting you. Got it. Let's go! Alright, this is gonna stop the place. Yeah, this is gonna have to be. <laughs> Should we even keep going just a little bit longer? Because we're almost at the end. We good. I mean, it is a bit long. We'll see if it takes, you know. Leave boobies alone, yes. Don't kill boobies. Please don't kill Tish McGee. Why don't you guys save it? Uh, it wouldn't let me. It's all just now. Oh. Alright. Uh, when do I hang out next? No, sorry, uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. We'll see. Um, stay tuned. Stay followed. Bye. Bye.